Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Tuesday, September 28th, 2021. I am Bronte Swanston Hendrickson. Palsy Wilkin Brandy was one of 11 divisions honored on the occasion of the 38th anniversary of independence of St. Christopher and Nevis for their contributions to the development of the Federation. In her profile, she was described as one of Nevis's unsung heroes who believes in giving her best without expecting any accolades to be bestowed on her. Born in Brooklyn Village to the late Cyril and Susanna Brandy, Wilkin is the third of six children. She was born and raised in a close-knit family and received her early education at the St. James's All Age School, commonly known as the Old Whitehall School, up to the College of Preceptors level. She entered the Charlestown Secondary School in 1972 at the fifth form level and graduated in 1973, having a success successfully passed four GCE subjects. Her world of work began with a brief tenure at the General Post Office in Charlestown before she entered the teaching profession. Her teaching career began in 1974 at the St. Thomas's Primary School under the headship of retired education officer Violet Nichols. Wilkin subsequently completed three years as an untrained teacher prior to attending the St. Kitts Nevis Teachers Training College in 1977. She graduated two years later with a certificate in education from the University of the West Indies. She introduced and successfully implemented the Reading Recovery Early Intervention Program in St. Kitts and Nevis in September 2006. Nine teachers in St. Kitts and six in Nevis were trained to deliver the Early Intervention Program to the lowest achievers in the six- to seven-year-old age group. Following the implementation of the Reading Recovery Program, Wilkin submitted her report to the University of London, which was the final requirement to complete in her master's degree. In 2008, she graduated with a master's degree in literacy learning and literacy difficulties. In 2009, Wilkin enrolled with the University of the West Indies Open Campus and satisfactorily completed the requirements of their certificate in a supervisory management course and received a certification in January 2010. She was subsequently appointed to the post of Principal Education Officer at the Department of Education from September 2013 with responsibility for all preschools, primary and secondary schools in Nevis. She held the position until her retirement in August 2018. Notwithstanding all her achievements, the most rewarding part of her career has been those years spent working the hardest to teach children on a one-on-one -on -one basis and training teachers and parents in St. Kitts and Nevis. The most rewarding part of her career has been those years spent working with the hardest to teach children on a one-on-one -on -one basis and training teachers and parents in St. Kitts and Nevis. She firmly believes that all children can learn given the appropriate instruction in an environment that is conducive to learning. Mrs. Palsy Wilkin is indeed worthy of the highest praise of her remarkable, for her remarkable contribution to the field of education. The Nevis Island Administration is profoundly grateful for your many years of service, Mrs. Wilkin, and we say congratulations. Wilkin is described as a family-oriented person who has been married to Mr. Perlivan Wilkin for the past 34 years. The mother of two children, Ajradi and Akil, with the help of her husband, she has been able to balance her dedication to her family and her commitment to her career. The following is a notice from the Ministry of Tourism regarding the Nevis Garden Competition. The Ministry of Tourism is pleased to announce that registration for the Nevis Garden Competition that was launched in April has been reopened and will close on September 30th, 2021. Persons can register in the vegetable or floral category or both. Judging of the competition will take place during the first week of October. 
This activity is supported by the Department of Agriculture, the Inter-American Institute for Cooperation on Agriculture, and the Department of Gender Affairs. Registration forms are available at the Ministry of Tourism. Please contact the Ministry of Tourism at 469-0051. Persons are encouraged to take part in this event as there are attractive prizes to be won. Still to come, Navis Half Island Relay to take place on a Saturday, October 9th. The details after this break. I will take the vaccine because being vaccinated is the best way to beat the pandemic. I will take the vaccine to protect my family, citizens, residents, and all visitors to Nevis. I will take the vaccine to protect myself, my loved ones, my clients, my co-workers, my community. For more information or to get vaccinated, visit your nearest health center. Welcome back. Premier of Nevis, Honorable Mark Brantley, will host his next monthly press conference on Wednesday, October 6, 2021, at 10 a.m. in the Cabinet Room. The press conference will be held at the Nevis Island Administration's NIA Cabinet Room on the second floor of the Social Security Building at Pinnis Estate, where Premier Brantley will provide an update on matters of national interest. Members of the press will be given the opportunity to ask questions. The event will be broadcast live on the Nevis Island Administration's Nevis Television, NTV, Channel 99, NevisTVOnline.com, NTV Go App, Nevis Television Facebook page, and Nevis Newscast YouTube channel. The National Weight Loss Campaign and the Ministry of Health, in collaboration with SKN Moves, Nevis Chapter, is hosting the third annual Nevis Half Island Road Relay on Saturday, October 9th, 2021. The route is Brickhill. We then go on to Butler's, hand over to Fothergill's, hand over to Market Shop, Hannes Road, down to Brownhill Gap, and we end up at the Fit Wellness Ground. So it's $15 registration with breakfast, $10 with refreshments. You have to register before the 27th of September at the Health Promotion Unit. My office is upstairs. Or you can call me on 469-5521, extension 6393. I'll take your details over the phone. Once you've paid your deposits, you'll be handed a bracelet that bracelet will access you to the breakfasts or the refreshments. Coordinator of SKN Moves, Nevis Chapter, Sheila James, noted that registration can be done at the Nevis Health Promotion Unit. Persons can contact her at 469-5521, extension 6393. Managing Director of the National Weight Loss Campaign, David Walwin, is encouraging persons to participate in the activity. If you're an individual, you can wear your own T-shirt. If you're a group, I'd like to encourage you to get together and um, select a color that you want to represent your group. If you're a business, uh, maybe your business can um, sponsor T-shirts for you that represent uh, their business. But I would encourage everybody to, you know, wear something that is uniform that represent uh, their company or their group in a celebration of this walk. There's never been a point in history where um, good health has become more important than now. Uh, good health is no longer a choice, it has become a necessity for life. So those of you who are exercising and not exercising, I'd like for you to take this opportunity to use this walk as a commitment to good health. So we look forward to seeing you all there. The relay begins at 5 a.m. on Saturday, October 9th in Bricklin Village and ends at the Fit Wellness Park in Bath Plain. And that's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I am Bronte Swanston-Hendrickson. Thank you for viewing.